parents. Comes in. Sometimes their pain doesn't start right away. It starts in the next couple days, next ah. weeks, and then sometimes you'll find problems that start years later. Actually, were originally from a car accident or some other type of injury years before. Talk to me about what your injuries that you see for a car accident. So the most common injuries that you see are injuries to ligaments and muscles and other soft tissues, especially up in the neck. Uh, sometimes it can also be in other parts of the body. When we look at the spine, this here is an example of the neck. So this would be the skull. Those are the top seven bones of the, of the neck. And they're shown up through here. When a person's injured, a lot of times you'll think about disc problems. And the disc is the cushion between the bones. And what you'll notice is there's several cushions between the bones. But at the very top of the neck, there are no discs in the upper third of the neck. So a person could have an MRI that comes back negative for disc problems. They still have problems showing up, causing neck pain or headaches. And what, what can be affected is there's joints on the back side here. They're called facet or facet joints. They could be injured. There's ligaments that go across here, muscles and tendons. And when we look at the technology we have in the clinic with the motion x-ray, it's able to evaluate the structure and just how well it's Get brownie, Jimmy. Get brownie. So if somebody brownie. Pulls their head forward and back, and it should stay fairly tight because the ligaments are conjecting it together and they're just getting rid of the pain. Uh, How are you doing, baby girl? Baby girl. Baby girl. How are you doing, baby girl?